What's going on guys, welcome back to a brand new video. So yesterday was Call of Duty's fourth year anniversary celebrating Warzone, and you're probably wondering where's the rewards at? Last year for the third year, we ended up getting some free gift packs, we got a weapon blueprint, and there were some other cosmetics that were given to us. This time around, we haven't gotten anything. Apparently, they're actually saving this for another update, and I got all the details that you guys need to know about that. In today's video, we're gonna talk about all the rewards they've revealed so far, all the information you need to know about it, and much more. Also, a quick reminder, I did post a video yesterday going over all the upcoming season two reloaded operator bundles and early gameplay showcasing of them so if you missed it out you want to see what the bundles look like their weapon blueprints the prices and everything else i'll have that video linked down in the description definitely check it out after this one before we get into it a quick word from our sponsor messymoddingstore.com it's a store that can get you the most exclusive operators help you complete your mastery camo challenges and much more and the reason why i promote them is they do everything 100 legit without using mods or unlock tools and not to mention they have some of the best reviews so check them out the link will be down in the description today we got our first warhammer operator bundle pack i'm not going to showcase it because i've already showcased a couple times but instead they actually dropped a trailer and this is the footage that you are looking at right now the event is scheduled for this wednesday at 10 a.m pacific standard time it will be xp based so you simply just have to play the game you can put on this new bundle for an xp boost and once you complete all that you'll be able to get yourself a mastery reward i did already showcase all the rewards you'll be able to get in a video i'll have that link down in the description if you haven't seen it anyways that's the event that's going to be taking place this week just wanted to to keep you informed on that but let's talk about the main topic we have for today and that's call of duty warzone's fourth year anniversary last year around this time was march 10th we had the third year anniversary and the way they celebrated it was they would give a free gift pack in the store every couple of days and it would end up being a weapon blueprint at the very end that you were able to unlock the rewards really weren't the best but it was just like a little celebration thing to reward people for logging in during the time of that event now you're probably wondering What's going on right now? Where are these free gift packs and why haven't we gotten anything even though it was actually yesterday? Surprisingly, Call of Duty has not added the cosmetics and the rewards yet into the files, but they're actually planning to add them in the season three update. So as for the release date, it makes sense why they haven't been able to add it right now. Instead, they actually dropped a trailer for us. They were just like celebrating it. They said, tweet out your best COD plays in Warzone during the years that you've played. And it was just like a whole thing that they did over on Twitter and they were celebrating that. But then when we talk about the actual reward side of things or the in-game event there wasn't anything available for us to get but they ended up sending out like marketing and they ended up talking about it and they said it's going to start on april 3rd which is the beginning of season three and they said after april 3rd keep an eye out for a free mcw weapon blueprint and this is what it looks like they said coming in season three earn the free anniversary weapon skin and the skin just shows like a collage of different areas locations pois from rebirth verdansk yurzik stan almazer all the different maps that we have seen in the past during the life cycle of warzone there was also another photo that they provided showed a little bit more rewards and they said the same thing earned the free anniversary weapon camo and then they showed some emblems some stickers i don't think these are just going to be all the rewards so these are just some of them they usually have around five to six different rewards i ended up making this concept art right here of what it pretty much could look like this is what we saw last year and then this is a version that i made for this year and i do want to talk about one of the major things that could potentially come in and that is the soap operator skin according to cod warfare he posted saying that soap is going to be receiving two brand new skins in the season three update as you guys know when it comes to task force skins they usually add them either in the battle pass or in a way of a free reward we've seen them do that multiple times I actually have a soap operator skin that's available in the battle pass currently it's not really the best one not one that anyone really wanted but it is available nonetheless and there's also the potential that it could come in as some sort of an event which i personally think would make great sense for them to do as a anniversary if you guys recall with the 20 year anniversary we ended up getting the og cod 4 captain price operator skin as one of the rewards for that 20 year celebration daily login thing and maybe this could be something that they could do this time around as well there's also the fact that since they mentioned there's two of them coming in maybe one of them could be the night version i believe this one's called the nighthawk this is definitely another fan favorite operator skin that people want to see as well so if we don't get the hawk version maybe we can end up getting this version as a substitute but they have been teasing it quite a couple of times now ever since the official chance to get it during the faction showdown event back in modern warfare 3 
and they carried it over into MW3 when no one is supposed to have it. So it tells you that maybe it is scheduled to release sometime in Modern Warfare 3. And I just wanted to keep the discussion up because I definitely think that this could be a prime opportunity, maybe during the season three update that they can release it. We've started to see a lot more free operators coming out with like the Ghost Condemned Operator skin, the Safeguard, the Monster Energy skin, the Kill Shot Operator. They started releasing a couple more free operators than usual with the nostalgic event of four years of Warzone and especially with what happened to him over in the campaign. I just can't see a better fit for them to add this as a free operator than right now for an event like this. And then on top of that, Warzone Mobile has randomly started giving out a soap variant operator. It's called the Heat Wave, and this is what he looks like. And they started giving him out in Warzone Mobile, and that one's only exclusive over there, but it is also a free reward. So maybe this could be added into the future of season three. Maybe this could be one of the skins they have scheduled for season three. If you recall, there was a free Koenig operator skin that was added earlier on in Warzone Mobile, and it was, I think, maybe a daily login reward or something as a part of an event with the season two reloaded update it was actually added into the console and pc version meaning that it's about to release at some point and it's not tied to an operator bundle so it's going to be some sort of a free reward in a way and maybe that's going to be what they plan on doing for some of these other operator skins that we have for soap but what are your thoughts and opinions is this an operator skin that you would love to see i definitely think that many players would be way happier to get that than to get a random weapon blueprint that doesn't have any trace rounds or effects anyway since we talked a little bit about season three we got some other leaks in regards to that apparently there's new aftermarket parts that are scheduled and this time around for the first time ever they're actually bringing them in for modern warfare 2 weapons so we got a total of four one for the m4 one for the m16 one for the kv broadside and one for the lockwood mk2 and these are going to be just aftermarket parts that are available for these weapons meaning that they're going to start taking care and updating these older weapons that people don't really use often anymore i mean everyone's mainly using mw3 weapons so they're probably going to try to adjust the meta and include them back in whether they buff them or adjust them and add these overpowered aftermarket parts to make them mix in this could most likely change up the meta entirely and start making mw2 weapons a very good fit for you to use especially over on warzone i'll keep you up to date on that information especially for those of you guys who miss those mw2 weapons and want to use some of them but anyways in the meantime there are quite a few events that are going to be taking place for example we have the day zero launch event this one's going to happen when warzone mobile releases on the 21st which is 10 days from from now even before then right now players are starting to report that a new event is appearing for them and this one is called the welcome warzone missions i'm trying to figure out how you can get this to pop up for you but as of right now majority of players who are getting them are new users so they're probably around like level 20 level 30 they don't really play the game too often it's like a way that call of duty is trying to get them to get on the game to get some free rewards and that includes that safeguard operator skin i'm gonna make a dedicated video to talk about all these warzone events that are coming in because i believe there's like a total of three different ways you're going to be able to get operator skins and rewards there's this one we have the day zero event and then there's also the pre-registration rewards so there's definitely a lot to go over and talk about even before season three officially begins and there's going to be free rewards and things like that you'll be able to unlock and then even after that there's upcoming events that are scheduled for season three that we're getting early looks at right now for example the godzilla kong we have the kong operator skin coming in towards the end of this month but it just doesn't stop there because once season three goes live there's actually going to be godzilla there's going to be shimu there's going to be scar king and there's just going to be an entire event that's going to be based around this and i am planning a dedicated video to go over and showcase an early first look at some of these operators and what they are going to be coming in with along with their bundles so that's pretty much all that i have for you guys here right now if there's anything else that pops up i definitely got you guys covered so be sure to hit that subscribe button so you never miss out on any call of duty news or updates also be sure to check out yesterday's video where we went over all the upcoming season two reloaded operator bundles and cosmetics surprisingly the bundles are a lot cheaper than we've usually seen some of them being 1400 cod points for like this heretic bundle some of them only being like 1800 cod points i'll have the video link down in the description for you to check it out but that's all they got for you guys thank you guys for tuning in it's been a boy and hopefully i'll be seeing you guys back again peace